Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. I hope this finds you well. I want to thank you all sincerely from the bottom of my heart for watching my videos and supporting what I do. It means the world to me and I owe everything to you guys. All of the comments, the success, everything. So thank you all so much for showing me time and time again that you are the best subscribers on YouTube. This is going to be the world's cheapest Creed collection and of course I'm not going to take credit for this. This is an idea that was come up with by Coach Rob 619 I'm actually going to leave his link down below if you're interested in checking that out. And he did a really cool comprehensive video that was actually very informative for me. I found out that a lot of fragrances out there are purported to smell like more popular Creed fragrances and of course I have uh, many creeds as you can tell and they're really pricey I mean it sucks to think that at one point you used to be able to buy a four ounce for like a little less than 300 and now a four ounce is like 375 or something like that and if you live in NYC where the tax is like 8.875 percent and if you sh you know it's just anyway <laughs> the final result is that it's gonna come out to be some large exorbitant amount of money and to be quite honest with you I don't know if I have that money anymore. I mean, I do, but I don't know if I want to spend it knowing that at one point they used to be so cheap. Anyways, not cheap. You guys know what I mean, right? For us, like 200 for like a four ounce is cheap because it's niche. But anyways, I'm not going to get into that. That's another topic for another time. But I have a few fragrances that, in my humble opinion, smell a lot like Creed fragrances. Now, as you guys have known, I've been dabbling with the House of Creed since like late 2011, early 2012. Um, I own many of them. Um, I have smelled many, many of the knockoff fragrances, or shall we call them alternative fragrances that are purported to smell like the real deal. Like, for example, I've smelled AB Spared Silver by Lamani. I have that one. I have Glenn Perry's Unpredictable Adventure. I have Fresco I have by Alimdine. I have all of these Creed alternative fragrances. And I have finally been able to put together this list with 10 fragrances that smell like 10 Creed fragrances. And they all smell remarkably close. The way that we're going to do it is the number one 10, the number 10 fragrance that I show you guys, that it does smell like a Creed fragrance, but it's not as close to smelling like the Creed fragrance as my number one fragrance is close to smell like the, like the Creed fragrance. So I think my number one is more accurate. My number 10, not as accurate, but it still makes for a really great substitute. That's another thing that I want to mention. All of these fragrances that I'm about to show you, they are really good substitutes for Creed fragrances, but they're not replacements. They're alternatives, but they don't supplant the real deal. But if you're willing to pay a lesser price tag for something that smells very close to the original thing, I, I want to say like up to 95 to 98% similar, this is the video for you. So let's go ahead and get it started. I'll tell you guys what they are and I'll give you my reasoning or my rationale for each one. And we will be starting things off with Unforgivable by Sean John. Now, of course, this is supposed to be a knockoff of Millicent Imperial, but all I know is that this does smell a lot like Millicent Imperial. However, I feel like Millicent Imperial has a smell that is very difficult to recreate. So while this one comes close, it doesn't beat the real thing. So um, I know there are a lot of others out there. There's multi, um, multi-platinum. Now, my number nine scent smells like a Creed that I don't yet own. And this is a very underrated Creed, but it's perfect for the summer. And I know there's still a lot of people talking about it online, even though that number doesn't match the number of people who talk about like Aventus and uh, Green Irish Tweed. But nonetheless, this is supposed to be an alternative for Creed's Arolfa, uh, which sort of commemorates the royal family. And this one is called You Are For Him by Usha Raymond. It has a lot of that same sort of sweet, fruity, melon-like nuance that the original bears. And I think it's a solid alternative. If you haven't tried it, definitely give it a try. Number eight smells like Creed's Himalaya, which is probably one of the fresher uh, scents. And it's no surprise that this one, uh, which is a little bit of an older fragrance, there have been many flankers out for it online and in the industry. Uh, believe it or not, this does resemble the Creed very well. And this one is called Excess for Him by Paco Rabanne. Still has that same sort of fresh quality that you do find in Himalaya. And I think it smells very, very similar. If you do a side by side, I think their true colors are going to reveal themselves to you. But with that aside, I think it's a really good contender for being um, an alternative for the original. Number seven is a fragrance that unmistakably smells like a Creed fragrance. And <laughs> this one is actually the only woman's fragrance on this list. And this one is supposed to smell like Aqua Fiorentina, 
However, it's not as natural, but this one came out first and then Aqua Fiorentina followed. So this could have very well been an influence for it. And this one is called Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana. Now, I think this also smells like Jardin de Amalfi by Creed, part of the exclusive line. But nonetheless, I think this is a wonderful scent. Uh, of course, a lot of other companies have tried to recreate that smell. I know another one is Bond Number no. 9 with the scent of peace for her. But if you're interested in smelling like Aqua Fiorentina, which is my favorite woman's fragrance from the House of Creed, and I say that not having smelled Aventus for her yet, then if you're interested in getting something that recreates the smell of that, this is it. The next one smells like Royal Oud, and it still has that very inoffensive Oud with some spices in there. Some might even call it a spicier version of Royal Oud. And this is Lamani Black Intense. Super, super inexpensive. You'll find that for all of these scents, they are like $50 and fewer. And uh, I think that's good, considering that if you want to buy a four ounce, it's going to cost you close to $400. So to pay $50, somewhere between $25 and $50, considering it's a fraction of the price, I can see why a lot of people would be receptive to that. The next one smells like original vetiver. It actually also possesses the same green color. And this is Mugler Cologne by Terry Mugler. I wear this a lot. I have decanted this. It smells like Irish spring soap. It's just so fresh and bright and energetic. It's a wonderful scent. And I think it smells remarkably similar to original vetiver. So much so that I probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference if I smelled the two side by side on someone in passing. The next one, my number four, is one that predates the Creed fragrance, and this could have very well been, and I'm sure it was, the source of inspiration for original Santal. And this scent actually comes from the house of Mont Blanc, the pen makers, and it's called Individual. So if you haven't tried this yet, it's the same sort of creamy, sweet sandalwood with that almost astringent juniper berry and a touch of cinnamon, giving it that sweet Yop ohm esque smell. Uh, definitely one worth trying out if you haven't yet tried it out. Phenomenal scent. It's great for clubbing, great for going to parties. Getting into my top three now, I am really, really excited about these. I've actually been wearing these a lot, so much so that when I shoot my designer list for the spring of 2016, all three of these are probably going to make it. If not, at least one of them is definitely going to make it, and I'll tell you guys which one is going to be it. But anyways, getting into my number three, this one actually smells like Silver Mountain Water. It has that same sort of abstract nature slash quality about it where a lot of the notes are indiscernible, but you know you have that berry note, you know you have some aquatic or airy or ozonic notes, whatever Creed says is in there. And this one is by Al Rahab, and it's called Silver. I got this for eight dollars eight dollars i think it's an ounce or a little bit more than an ounce it's 35 milliliters and it smells so similar to silver mountain water and of course this is the fragrance that succeeded silver mountain water hence the name silver um so it does pay an homage to the creed but if you haven't smelled this one do yourselves a favor once again you have to try it out what a wonderful scent uh after owning this one and smelling this one and the level of closeness that it bears to Silver Mountain Water, it actually has me second guessing um, if I, me having to pay this much for this is really worth it. All right, now number two on this list is by far the best alternative that I have smelled to Green Irish Tweed, which is this gorgeous black bottle here. And when I smelled it recently, I couldn't believe the level of resemblance, the level of similarity. And I honestly can say that there's no need for there to ever be another Green Irish Tweed clone on the market. This one does the job for every single one of them. What an amazing fragrance, so glad to have recently discovered. And this fragrance by Davidoff is, I'm just kidding. Nope, it's not Davidoff's Cool Water. This one by Armaf is called Tres Nuit or Tre Nuit. What a spectacular scent. As you can tell, it even has that same sort of frosted black glass thing like Green Irish Tweed. On the bottom, look at this level of detail. It's leather or like a faux leather and they've actually engraved the name of the company in there. This is just remarkable. The level of attention, the cap, they have our moth engraved in there. This is 95% close to Green Irish Tweed. So much so, I never need, I don't even need to search for another alternative to Green Irish Tweed. This does it all. What a spectacular scent. The next fragrance in this list is of course a clone for Creed's Aventus. And I don't have one for Virgin Island Water. I know people talk about, um, what is it? Uh, the Tommy Bahama Setzel St. Bart. They say that's a good alternative for Virgin Island Water. 
No, not really. I gotta be honest with you. It doesn't smell similar to Virgin Island water. It gives off the same tone, the same vibe, the same ambiance. The one that does smell similar to Virgin Island water is called Gorse. And I think it could be had for like $100. I forget the name of the company, but it's called Gorse, G-O-R-S-E. I might feature that in a future video, but this one is actually a clone of Creed's Aventus. And I own most of the Creed Aventus clones and I have tried a dozens more. I know I've tried Royal Copenhagen Black. I, I own Ilum Dean's uh, Fresco. I own Glenn Perry's Unpredictable Adventure. I own AB Spirit Silver. Um, I've tried Insurrection Pure. And I have to say, this is by far the closest scent to Creed's Aventus and if you don't believe me, um, give it a try. Give it a try for yourself. And I know that you'll be pleasantly surprised. This is by Armoff, and it's called Club de Nuit Intense for Men. Now, there are two. There's the men's and the women's. The women's smells very similar to Noir de Noir by Tom Ford, part of the Private Blend line. If you're interested in getting the men's version, this smells so much like Creed's Aventus. I couldn't believe it the first time that I gave this a try. And I'm not gonna go into which batch it smells like. I truly don't know. I wouldn't be able to tell you. All I know is that it has that DNA, it has that smoky quality, it has the pineapple and the freshness of the fruit and the citrus, and then it dries down to that sort of rosy vanilla. Beautiful, great fragrance perfect alternative. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Quick question, if you guys would like to see me do a part two of this, maybe fragrances that resemble lesser known creeds, maybe like, I don't know, Bois de Portugal or Chevre Fui or any of these other creed, or maybe women's creeds fragrances, let me know. I would love to be able to do a part two to this. And uh, also if you guys have tried or if you own any of these fragrances, let me know what you think about them by leaving a comment down below. And once again, I just want to thank you guys very much for tuning in. Thank you for the support. It means the world to me, and we'll see you in a future video. Take care.